Hello everybody and welcome to Open World Gamers. I must apologise, I have not been here to cover the update even though I've got a next gen console. It's because I just don't want to. Um, there's plenty of YouTube channels covering at the moment and there's no point having yet another YouTube channel covering the update. So what I'm doing for you now is the honest review of the Sentinels update. Obviously the update is not fully completed and there's other aspects of it to come into the verse yet. So what can I say? Hmm. So far you fight Sentinels. Easy premise really. We all used to fight Sentinels before. All it is is just getting us all planet side to fight some Sentinels. Hmm. I suppose easy enough. We have a companions thing what we've got we can do um we've got more companion slots but that will the extra companion slots will be for the um expedition that's coming out the companions one which i'm really looking forward to because i'm a big fan of companions i really am remember i look for companions on this channel um i'm a companion hunter so yeah really looking forward to that well done hello games fantastic there's a lot of people like companions. There are some people that obviously announce online that don't, but the brilliant companions. If you know how to train them, you know, we'll do everything for you. Back to subject. Right, the Sentinel thing. Hmm. Well, what I did was last night I went on and I tried it and I fought some Sentinels and I got to that node type of thing and destroyed everything. And then, after all that, I went to the terminal to look for a multi-tool and got a C-Class. So all that work that I did, I got a C-Class multi-tool. And what the problem with that is, is that it's not the type of reward that you're wanting for fighting all those sentinels. It really isn't. So that's a bit of a negative point for me. So you're doing all that fighting and using all your resources against sentinels and only getting a small prize you may get an S class multi tool you may not okay that's a bit of a downside for me so what that is going to do obviously it's going to make people think hmm should I really do it is it really worth it can I be bothered you know but They've also made that invisibility uh, module that you can have, so all the people that don't like Sentinels can be invisible. So that's pretty damn good. I don't like Sentinels, and I, I try and stay away from them, to be honest, unless I'm shooting a space station. Now then, you've got your your mech. I never used my mech, you know. Never used it. I haven't used it once. I used it to do duplication glitches, and that's it. <laughs> that's all I used it for. And I don't think I'll use it now even though it can follow me around. I've got a companion that will probably do 10 times better than the uh, the mech, except for apparently the mech can shoot sentinels, but I don't go after sentinels anyway. If a sentinel comes near me, I just stand still, it fly past. You know what I mean? The elements of the game, it's good. It's entertaining for a short period. Then what happens when everybody's completely saturated all the entire content for this update right saturated it and then it's all gone what happens we all go back to ship hunting and base building maybe we'll see it doesn't seem as concrete as it should have been the update really yeah you're able to it's on the website, on the Hello Games website, it's showing the, uh, the new expedition and what's going to go through. New graphic effects and all that. Yeah, they're called Bells and Whistles, Hello Games. Okay. Let's go on to the negative points now. It released on PC first, and I hate it when Hello Games do that. I really hate it when they do that. The PC-centric, the love PC players. The Hello Games. So what they do is they launch it on PC first and then everybody else gets it second. So it's PC and then next gen. And that's not fair, is it really, that other people get the update and others don't. And apparently the previous gen, 
you know, the PlayStation 4, PlayStation, I mean, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and lower end PCs didn't get the update until probably a day after. Some people still haven't got it yet. So, can you explain to me what that's all about? Hmm. I mean, I mean it, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Yeah, you've got your multi-tool upgrades, you've got your XO mech that can follow you around, but what else is there? Has anybody tried to find, get a Sentinel freighter to come in? See if that's changed. Can they land on board? Can we customise ships? Was there any ship customizations that people wanted? I'm not really quite sure. The, the update is like, um, let's say you're baking a cake and you've got all the cake all made out and you put some tinsel on the top you know not tinsel but you know like frosting as they say like and it makes it all sparkly and nice and coated that's what this update is they made it look nice and all that but the gameplay i think it's going to go you know not it's going to go up then go level right and then everybody's going to go back down to doing ship hunting and base building to be honest I don't think anybody will be going looking for these central node, central node, because once everybody's got one of these new exotic multi tools, you don't you're not going to want another one, are you? Really? <laughs> so what's the point? Multi tools. The idea of multi tools went down the pan ages ago. That nobody was really looking for them. All right. So they tried to bring them back into the verse. The companion thing seems interesting, but they'll have to deal with the mechanics regarding the companions and sorting them out because obviously yeah your companions will dig stuff up and defend you but they don't defend you against sentinels so what they need to do is do something with the companions to fight sentinels like the mech can do now anyway i think i've covered most of it it's a good update it's better than frontiers much better than Frontiers. Hell Games, please launch this on all platforms at the same time. Have a word with Sony or whatever or Microsoft to do this because it's really annoying a lot of the community, right? Don't just have it uploaded on PC first. My God, what's wrong with you, right? You've got a community and they're getting annoyed with you with that. So, I think... If I was giving it to out of 10, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. And that's good for me for these honest reviews because I usually slag the hell off the game, right? It's pretty good. It just seems a bit like... Mm, it's, let's say it's a larder, you know, a car larder, right? In a big fancy box with the label of a Porsche on it. Is that the best way of looking at it? Yeah? Hmm, okay. So, <laughs> thank you all for watching this honest review. It's one of the longest ones I've done, and I shall see you a lot in the next video, which will be probably Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance. Series S, you know, X, Series XS, Next Generation. Wow, I've downloaded that game, and I'll see you there. Bye.